Introduction to Activities in Plant Breeding. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the activities in plant breeding. A seed is the most significant and prerequisite input for any crop production. In simple terms, it is a material utilized for rebirth or planting purpose in agriculture. It is believed that the traits of offspring are often inherited from the parent seed. During 1800s, when Mendel experimented on the concept of inheritance in pea plant, he proposed that gene is responsible for such inherited traits in an offspring. However, being unable to confirm the same, his attempts failed to reach out. Later in 1900s, three scientists, namely Hugo Devers, Carl Correns, and Eric von Schemek, proved Mendel's law which paved way for rooting of hybrid plant varieties. Nevertheless, the initial attempts in plant breeding failed and led to huge losses in agricultural domain. One such example is Sugary One, the hybrid sweet corn variety that was cultivated in Philippines and Taiwan. Despite expenditure of several resources, the expected result was not achieved for this particular variety. It was later identified that the major cause for this loss is the creation of more genetic variation of the selected variety. The saying, failure is the stepping stone for success, very well applies to plant breeding. Researchers wrestled with genes to identify the cause of the failure. After mixed endeavors, finally specific procedures in breeding techniques were standardized and followed for improved results. In this lesson, let us now discuss the activities involved in plant breeding. Generally, certain activities in plant breeding are executed for making desirable changes in the genotypes of crops as well as to benefit the farmers. They include creation of genetic variation, selection, evaluation, multiplication, distribution. Let us proceed with each activity in detail. Creation of Genetic Variation Genetic variation is highly essential to bring about genetic improvement in a crop. Thus, it serves as the first step in any breeding program unless the breeding population shows pre-existing genetic variation. Genetic variation is induced by genetic engineering, domestication, germplasm collection, plant introduction, mutation, polyploidy, soma clonal variation and hybridization, including intervarietal, distant and somatic hybridization. Selection The selection process involves two key steps. Firstly, to identify and isolate the plants with desirable permutation of characters. Secondly, to cultivate the progeny of such isolated plant varieties. Generally, the selection process is done based on the phenotype. But in some cases, it goes with the genotype of the chosen traits. Evaluation This activity is carried out to evaluate the traits of newly selected lines or strains or population of the cultivated breed. Basically, the performance of the new species is compared with that of the existing best varieties, generally known as checks. If the developed variety is superior to checks, it is notified and released as a new variety. It is also certified as the highest quality seed. In India, evaluation is conducted at several locations under the control of All India Coordinated Crop Improvement Project. Multiplication during the multiplication activity, large-scale production of the newly released seeds is carried out by seed-producing agencies. Later on, the produced seeds are certified by the respective seed certification agency. Distribution Finally, the certified seeds are distributed to farmers for commercial crop cultivation. The distribution activity is the most important segment as it serves as the basis for reaping economic benefits from the entire plant breeding program. Thus, 
plant breeding enables enhanced and stable production of superior plant produce at lower budget. The success of any crop improvement program depends on how properly it is coordinated and how efficiently it is implemented to increase the output. A small defect of failure in any of the standard steps is sure to affect the overall outcome of the program. It may also result in the wastage of all resources expended for implementing the same. Summary Let us do a recap of what we have learned in this lesson. Plant breeding is carried out to bring about genetic variation in plant varieties. Genetic variation can be achieved through incorporation of genetic engineering and hybridization techniques. The key activities of plant breeding include creation of genetic variation, selection, evaluation, multiplication and distribution of developed seeds.